Welcome to another one to build tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through task management. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's navigate to the tasks area, so menu to the left, click on tasks. What are one to build tasks? It's a system that one to build has built that allows you to manage your own personal tasks, as well as the tasks associated with your project or jobs via the schedule, which we'll show you in a second. It's a great place to also see all of your team members what they're, what they're working on, what's incomplete, what's complete, and to tackle any blockages that you may see that could delay a project. Best way to navigate your tasks are through these filters that you see here. So you can filter by your team, by the actual status of the task, so whether incomplete or complete or all statuses, and by the actual job. So let's say, for instance, we'd like to look at Alan Smith, all the tasks that are incomplete across all jobs. This is a great way to have an overview of your team just to ensure that they're on track with all the tasks across all your jobs in one screen. There are two ways you can create a task, one of which is by clicking this button, or you can go create a task through the scheduling via the actual job itself. Now, creating a task here allows you to create generic tasks that aren't necessarily going to be on the job schedule. So perhaps you might have a chore, it could be a phone call that you need to make to your, your customer or supplier. Let's go ahead and create that example. Once you click that button, you'll see a form appear, and of course you could fill it out. Creating a due date as well, which is a great way to set reminders for yourself. And in this area, this is where you can start to delegate and assign, whether you'd like to assign it to yourself or your team member. Now, this is the area that you tag it to a job. Now, remember, this does not come up on the schedule. This is purely to create your ad hoc or generic tasks. Now, if you'd like to create a task as soon as you submit this form, you do so by checking the box here and clicking that create button, in which will then clear the form and you can then create a task immediately after submission. Otherwise, just uncheck this. Let's go ahead and create this task. Now, let's search for Jane Doe and see what she has outstanding at the moment. So, click that drop down, click on Jane Doe, incomplete all jobs. And there's that task that we, we created, as well as a previous task that has a due date that's now well and truly passed. So, now you can go ahead and reach out to, you, to Jane and say, hey, you need to follow up on this phone call and uh, complete the purchase task. Let's go ahead and look at the actual schedule view with a job example and see how we can manage our tasks from there. So go ahead, menu to the left, go to your jobs and we'll just click on a sample job, so 190 Queen. Now go down to the list of additional items, click on schedule and we have the schedule view in front of us. So let's just say, for example, we'd like to look at the plumbing section and you can see the parent task as well as the child tasks. And just say, for example, the water heater, we'd like to assign that to a team member to follow up for a phone call. So click on that little pencil icon next to the category item. And from here, we can say, right, this is assigned to team member or supplier. Let's assign it to a team member. Let's assign it to Jane Doe. Give Jane Doe a reminder one day before due date and the predecessor and go ahead and Scroll up, let's credit a description for this. Click on update. And now you can see next to water heater, you've got Jane Doe's name assigned or right next to that category item. And what you can do also is you can click on the notify button to send Jane Doe a reminder email to push that task. Let's assign the other remaining plumbing tasks to Jane Doe also. And now you can see all the tasks under plumbing as are officially assigned to Jane Doe. So now when we navigate over to the menu to the left and go back up to tasks, now let's sort by Jane Doe under the filter and incomplete all jobs. And you can see here the job that we were just in was 190 Queen. And you now can see all of the plumbing categories and category items from that schedule appear here as well. 
Now, the great thing is, is that when you do, or when your team member, in this instance, let's go ahead and get Jane to resolve this item. Click on the ellipsis or the three dots, edit, complete, or delete. So let's go ahead and complete this task as with the water tank and the fixtures. Now let's go navigate back to that job. Back down to the schedule within that job. And let's just refresh the screen. And you can see here, the tasks are now 100% based on the completion of those tasks that we checked off earlier. Now just going back to the main task area and having yourself and your team utilize this space to manage all of your tasks is a great way to ensure things are kept moving along, whether they're done directly through the schedule or when you do create your independent tasks or generate tasks through here. And having a look at how tasks synchronize on the Wonderbuild app. So what you can do, if you just reference the menu to the bottom right corner, just tap on that and go ahead and get into tasks. So just tap there as well. And you can see here all tasks associated with your profile. So in this case, contingency, let's just go ahead and if you slide to the left on that particular item, it will reveal the delete button as well as the mark as complete button. So just say, for example, let's mark this task as completed. As with the rough wiring that's now being completed. And perhaps the courtyard paving wasn't completed. And you can now change the status of that also to incomplete. And having a look at the software version on your PC or Mac, if you will, uh, you could see now that those tasks that were set to complete slash incomplete on the mobile app have also been reflected here or synchronized as well. So contingency and your smoke CO2 alarms as an example. And that concludes the tutorial on task management. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.